When are solo 401k contributions due? Hey everyone, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of Fire Financial. On today's video, I'm going to detail and explain everything you need to know about when the deadline is for making employee deferral, profit sharing, even mega backdoor contributions to a solo 401k plan. This video is going to focus on solo plans. So if you work at a company like Apple or Tesla, the deadline is pretty simple. Employee deferrals need to be done by 1231. And then the company generally has until they file the tax return to put in the employer match or safe harbor contribution. But on the solo 401k contribution angle, the deadline depends on the adopting employer, not necessarily the plan. So let's start off with sole proprietors and single member LLCs since they both report income on a 1040 slash Schedule C. In that case, employee deferrals, which is 22,500 if you're under 50 or 30,000 if you're over 50 for the 2023 taxable year, plus the profit sharing, which is 20% or 25% of the net Schedule C. And when you put it all together, the employee deferral and the profit sharing, that cannot exceed 66,000 or 73,500. That is all due by April 15th. And if you file an extension, October 15th. Okay, so that's pretty simple for sole proprietors and single member LCs. Let's now talk about partnerships, 1065s, right? Sole 1065 partnership, the employee deferral generally either get paid through a W-2 or a guaranteed payment. Those contributions should be done by 1231. And the profit sharing, that 25% of the guaranteed payment or W-2, that is done by the time the 1065 is filed, which is March 15th or September 15th with extension. Okay, so in the case of a partnership 1065, the employee deferral should be done by 1231. Why? Because it's W-2 guaranteed payment. And the profit sharing, the company has time to kind of look at its books, figure out its accounting, and that's due by the time it follows its return. Let's move to the corporation world, the C or S Corp. C and S Corps. C files an 1120 and S files an 1120S. S Corps file an 1120S by March 15th, extension is September 15th. For, it kind of mirrors the 1065, it actually mirrors the 1065. So if you are a W2 S Corp, you have a 401k associated with the S Corp, the employee deferral is due by 1231, profit sharing by March 15th or September 15th. If you have a C Corp in 1120, that tax return is due April 15th. So the employee deferrals like the S are due 1231, not April 15th, but 1231. But the profit sharing, that 25% is due by April 15th. Uh, excuse me, yeah. It's due by April 15th and then it extends all the way to October 15th if there's an extension. So just to summarize, the only, the sole proprietor single member LCs you have more flexibility because you're your own little business. You don't have W-2. Most people don't know what they make until they file their return in March or April or get an extension. So they give you more room, more flexibility. If you are a 1065 partnership, C or S Corp, the idea is you get a W-2 or a guaranteed payment. Therefore, you should know what you make and employee deferral should be done by 1231. If you want to learn more, have questions, you have a client of Iron Financial or not, this is kind of confusing, it kind of went quite fast because um, there's a lot of details to digest. Don't worry, we're here to help. You can always give us a call, chat us, email. We have an amazing compliance service. If you are a client of ours, that will help you navigate all these rules and make sure you are maximizing your plan benefits and making those contributions in a timely fashion. Thanks so much for watching uh, and I'll see everyone again next time.